Hello everybody, my name is William and welcome back to another Roblox Bee Swarm Simulator video where today I would like to talk about how to get gifted bees quickly so you can go ahead and get yourself that supreme star amulet and go ahead and switch to a specific color because everyone wants to become red right now because red tends to be doing the best at the moment. However, well, white is making a bit more but people prefer red. Personally, I want to switch over to white because, well, it should, I don't know, it looks so much more fun. I don't know why. I tried red for a bit. I didn't really like red too much. It was fun, but I don't know, I feel like I'd prefer white and collecting the goo and all that, using gumdrops, all that stuff with all the mark tokens. I feel like that would be more fun for me, and it would be pretty cool. Also, seeing as it's making the most at the moment, it seems pretty decent. Now, on with the video. So, there are a few ways to get gifted bees, right? There are quite a few ways to get gifted bees, actually. And the main way that I have uh, found is using treats. Now, treats, right? Treats, treats, treats. Why are treats useful? Because if we go over here to my hive, right here. I don't have very many treats because I've been using them all and stuff. All that, you know. How do treats work? Well, essentially, really just feed them to your bees, but, 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 but. Each bee color, each type of bee has its own specific favorite fruit. Like, if I just fed a sunflower seed to, like, a tadpole bee, look, it just says tadpole bee bond increased by 25, right? However, if I feed it a blueberry, like so, it will say tadpole bee loves blueberry, right? And it's a 1 in 24,000 chance. Yes, a 1 in 24 4k for uh your bee to become gifted by using the treat that it prefers so like if i fed a bunch of blueberries to my like tadpole bee right here it'd become gifted after a while but i'd need to use about twenty four thousand. i suggest using twenty five thousand just for the extra thousand to just confirm that you're getting it because if you don't get it and you just use twenty four thousand blueberries then that's just painful this works for other bees too right you know if i use sunflower seeds on like a vector bee or a carpenter bee or something they'll go gifted they don't don't need to it, it does not require 24,000 of that specific treat but that is the best way to do it because well it's a 1 in 24,000 so it's pretty much an 100% chance just it's more like 99.9% .9 chance so if you don't get it that is extraordinarily unlucky now how do you get treats quickly that's always the problem people have they just they don't have enough treats right you run out of treats and all that and you just it takes forever to get more right well here's a quick way to get some treats so you see these little magical things down here they're literally called magic beans so I I suppose they are literally magical. Now, for blue hives, this is the best field to, to use sprouts in to get blueberries. It's this field, this stump field. Why is that? It's because it's all compact and it drops the most out of a sprout anyways. Like, it drops the most blueberries. It's all very compact. So, if you stand out here, get your haste all the way up to 10. And if you have a windy bee, go ahead, use a sprout, and then activate that. See, that's a tornado. It goes faster and it lasts longer if you have, uh, like, 10 times haste. The more haste you have, the longer it'll last and the quicker it'll move. So, yeah, be sure for a blue hive, use your sprouts inside of the stump field only. For red hives, you're gonna wanna go on up to the pepper patch as it gives you the most strawberries. Out of every red field, it gives you the most. It also gives you a few sunflower seeds, pineapples. It's just up here, it gives the most strawberries and it has a variety of stuff to give you as well. However, the HP on a sprout up here is insane. Like, it's like 125 million HP for a, uh, you know, epic sprout or rare sprouts. Very, very, very difficult to take down if you don't have like over 50 bees or if you don't have like a bunch of people to help you it'll take you a little bit you know now if you want to get like gifted fuzzy bees and such for your white hive and all that every bee that requires pineapples you can come over here to the pineapple patch and you can go ahead use some sprouts and you can get a ton of pineapples pretty quickly and easily the pineapple patch is the best place to go ahead and get pineapples so with your friends you could all come over here and you could all start spamming sprouts and get a ton of pineapples now for sunflower seeds i suggest the sunflower field because it gives i believe it gives the most sunflower seeds. I'm pretty sure. From what I know, I'm pretty sure that that's accurate. Else, you can come over here and use this, by the way, so you can get some rare sprouts or legendary epic. Even supreme, but it's very rare. Oh, that spawned right here inside of the sunflower field. That's actually pretty lucky. Nice. I actually need some sunflower seeds, because I need a fifth gifted, uh, fifth gifted vector bee. So, as you can see here, yeah, there's a ton of, uh, treats around here, so we can go ahead and collect all these. You know, get all the, uh, good old sunflower seeds poggers. Anyways, so, that is, that is method method one. Method two is, uh, you know, star treats. Everyone knows what a star treat is, and everyone knows what it does. If you don't, well, you're in luck, because I'm going to explain it. So, star treats can be purchased for a thousand tickets, or you can get a free star treat by completing on its quest up there. His 
like not each of his quests but like all of his quests and he'll give you a star treat after completing his quest line he'll give you a star treat on star journey 5 there's five quests but the quests take forever because with 30 bees like by the time you get here 30 bees is going to still take you forever but for someone like me or like eternal thunder or something like that elol anyone who's really good at the game um oh they'll be able to complete the quests pretty easily but yeah well by the time you get to this level then yeah duh of course you'll be completed with that but anyways another way you can get star treats is from in here the ticket tent so right here's the ticket tent and you can come in here and you can go ahead open the shop you can go over here and you'll see there's a star treat 1000 tickets turns a turns a bee into a gifted bee gifted bees have many perks including increased stats and bonuses for your entire swarm so like gifted hive bonuses right all that and you can just go ahead use your star treats on event bees because event bees they don't have a favorite treat you have to use star treats on event bees to get them gifted so this is like 1000 2000 3000 4000 5000 6000 7000 8000 tickets spent on all those bees all eight of those 8000 tickets to get eight gifted event bees so yeah pretty expensive right now an easy way to get tickets quickly is by jumping around what just happened to the mondo chick that was really weird okay anyways you can go ahead hop into here you can defeat these bugs you can go down here in the bamboo forest defeat those bugs defeat these bugs defeat those bugs in the clover spider spider pretty much always drops a ticket for me since i have the two times ticket chance pass you know like every single time like boom there's a ticket right there see i got uh where is it i got five tickets from the spider and then in here you can go ahead and get tickets from the ladybugs and such you know you can just get tickets from pretty much everything you know werewolves are a good way to get tickets you get tickets pretty much every time from those just all the mobs if you defeat all the mobs as much as you possibly can you can get a ton of tickets taking out stump snail will give you like 15 or 20 taking out uh king beetle will give you like 5 or 10 15 uh tunnel bear same with him give you 5 10 15 20 well not 20 just max i think is 15 or 10 i'm pretty sure it's 15 but yeah coconut crab i don't think you can actually get tickets from the coconut crab but you can get tropical drinks and just a ton of other cool items from the coconut crab also memory matches will give you tickets it's kind of hard though memory matches are kind of difficult brown bear and black bear quests will get you tickets and all that all that stuff right i actually have uh we have to defeat a werewolf for my polar bear brown bear uh i'm not willing to do that right now that's gonna take a little bit black bear pepper coconut that's easy i'll go do that right now and we can get some uh some tickets it doesn't give you tickets every time it gives you a few every now and then but it's still helpful you know anyways moving on here's another way to get uh gifted bees if you don't have very many gifted bees already however if you do have a lot of gifted bees already then uh this method will probably be the worst and least efficient out of all of them if you have like what 30 gifted bees already gifted bee types this method's gonna be pretty bad um for you because like the this is just the simplest and most rng relied on method so and that is using star jelly star jelly will always turn your bee into a gifted bee it's just a random one not not event bees not event bees but it will turn them into a random gifted bee and uh yeah same with royal jelly just it takes longer and it's not always gonna give you a gifted bee it's not always gonna give you a gifted bee it's gonna give you one every now and then but it takes like what 600 700 royal jelly to get a gifted bee i think it's a one in 1000 or something crazy like that i don't know it's not very crazy but still it's a lot for newer players another method is these gifted eggs right here as you can see i have a gifted el uh, as you can see i have a gifted silver egg and a gifted mythic egg now i'm not going to use my gifted mythic egg because i want to save it for a boost like you can donate them to the wind shrine and they'll give you crazy winds so never use gifted uh gifted eggs unless they're like gifted silver gifted um however there is one type of egg that you should use and that is the star egg which can be purchased for 800 robux or by completing panda bear's quest line or by completing mother bear's quest line you can get some star eggs i'd recommend saving your star egg until you've gotten every single gifted type except for the mythics so you can get a guaranteed gifted mythic bee because it gives you a gifted bee type that's not already in your hive that is not already in your hive not discovered it it's just not in your hive so yeah but uh yeah that's how you get some gifted bees pretty quickly this was a really short video but you know it's just it's a bit of a helpful video for anyone who's trying to get like the supreme star amulet the diamond star amulet whatever star amulet you want but yeah this is the quickest way to get them there's really no faster way to be honest with you it just it just it takes time you know time grinding and just a lot of work so yeah well i mean it's not really much work it's a video game so yeah i guess it's just a ton of grinding and grinding and grinding and you'll be able to get some gifted bees so uh yeah thanks for watching uh i hope you all found this pretty helpful this is i know these are some pretty simple ways but these are really the fastest ways
anyways, you're going to be able to get some gifted B types. But uh, yeah, do not forget to leave a like and subscribe and I will see you all in my next YouTube video. Goodbye.